Hello, parents. Um, my name is Mrs. Russell. My apologies for not being able to attend our back to school night, but I did want to put together a quick video giving you a little introduction and an overview of what to expect this year in photography. First off, my name, as I said, is Mrs. Russell. I am a San Diego native, lived in East County my whole life. I'm a mom of three. I have been working at Valhalla for 20 years, uh, first as a special education aide right out of high school, um, but I have been teaching photo for 11 years. I'm also the AVID coordinator here at Valhalla. I have my Bachelor of Arts in Social Science, um, and then I have my single subject cre teaching credentials in Art, Social Science, and English, as well as my Master's in Teaching from San Diego State. Outside of being a photo teacher, I am also a family and lifestyle photographer. That is something that I am very passionate about and I tell my students all the time, more than just teaching you about photography, I'm also doing photography. So it's something that I really enjoy, that I'm really passionate about and I'm very lucky to be able to have that um, as a side job outside of my full-time job of teacher and mom. Um, my contact information, my email is wford at guhsd.net. Like I said, I've been working here for 20 years, so it's my one holdout of my maiden name. Um, but just so as not to be confused, uh, my email is wford and not wrussell at guhsd.net. Uh, my phone number is there as well, but I typically do not answer the phone during school hours and I am much better uh, about getting back to emails in a timely manner. So why photo? Why is your student taking this class? Well, first and foremost, um, because it's fun. I know I have that as my last bullet point, but it should be at the top, but it's fun. It's the class that I think most of uh, my students look forward to in the day. While their core classes are incredibly important, uh, photo is kind of that period in the day where they get to be creative and use that other side of their brain. Um, but on top of being fun, it also meets the visual and performing arts or foreign language requirement for graduation. It meets their A through G requirement for visual and performing arts. And then it teaches students how to see and capture the world around them in a more artistic way. So what to expect this year in photo? Semester one, um, we focus a lot of what I like to call the foundational components of photography. We started with the history of photography. We are right now studying composition. Uh, and then we're going to get into the elements and principles of design and then finish out the semester learning how to use the camera. Um, what is ISO? What is aperture? What is shutter speed? How do they work together? Um, <clears throat> And then on top of that, we learn how to do basic Photoshop editing and basic Lightroom editing. Semester two is where we really get into the fun stuff. Um, it's the more creative side. They really have the foundational skills that they need. And now we get to focus just on projects and they get to pick their projects. And it's really just focusing on um, honing their photographic skills and their creative eye. We also are able to enter some really fun competitions uh, in the second semester and we get into some more uh, advanced Photoshop, Photoshop and Lightroom um, tutorials. So I always have parents ask me what's the requirement for cameras. We do have a class set of cameras that are provided so students do not have to have their own cameras. Uh, we use, sorry, <laughs> That's the bell for the end of the day. Um, we use the Canon Rebel. Uh, we have Rebels ranging from the T5 all the way up to the T8. Um, so again, students are not required to have their own cameras, but I do have a lot of parents uh, that are interested in purchasing a camera for their student. Maybe it's something that they're passionate about um, or something that they just wanna have at home to make the class a little bit easier. So if you are going to purchase a camera for your student, again, it's not required, but if you are going to purchase one, um, please purchase uh, a Canon Rebel because those are the cameras that we use in class. Again, it can be a T5, a T6, a T7, and a T8. Anywhere in that range is fine. Um, Again, <laughs> I said purchase the Rebel, but uh, that is the class that we're going to be using in, or excuse me, the camera that we are going to be using in class. Um, but if if it were, if I were to say to be more modern, um, we are moving away from DSLRs and moving towards mirrorless cameras. So if you want them to have a camera that we're not going to be using in class, but something that they can carry on in the future, something that's going to be more relevant for today, um, I would recommend purchasing the Canon R10. Uh, which is one of their new mirrorless cameras. 
Um, as far as assignments in class, all assignments are going to be posted to Schoology. Um, everything in this class is can be accessed online. I organize um, by week, and every assignment that we do is within the week's folders. I also will post grades to Schoology, and then those grades will sync to Infinite Campus, so you'll be able to see their, their current grade in Infinite Campus. <clears throat> Students also, uh, throughout the year, are going to create a digital portfolio. Um, we use Wix as our uh, platform. They have already built their websites this year. Um, they've, they're very basic at this point, but if you are interested in seeing what they've created, go ahead and ask them to show you their website. But every project that we do throughout the year will be posted on their website, and then by the end of the year, they will have this beautiful, robust um, portfolio to share. And then the last thing that I want to cover is my grading policy. I use the standard GUHSD grading scale. Um, but one thing that I do want to highlight is my late work policy. Um, all late work in my class receives half credit. Um, but while I say that, I do want to give the little uh, exception to that. If students are struggling with a project or they need extra time, they just have to communicate with me. And as long as they communicate with me at least 24 hours before the due date, I am willing to give them that extra time. But again, they need to communicate that with me. They can't come to me a week after something is due and ask for extra time. It needs to be communicated and approved before the due date. Um, but as far as late work goes, if students aren't able to get it on time and they do need to turn it in late, um, I only accept late work in the six-week grading period that it was assigned. Um, so that's all I have for you. If you need to get in contact with me or have any further questions, I just want to reiterate uh, my contact information. You can just go ahead and shoot me an email. Otherwise, I'm really looking forward to an amazing year. You all have great students. It's been so fun. Just in our first you know, three, four weeks of school, we're having a great time. Um, but again, let me know if you have any further questions and um, looking forward to taking photos with your kids this year. Thank you.